see how different combinations of um, students may require uh, different experience for the student. Um, right before you, seventh and eighth graders, um, from two of the classes are going to be joined by another third class, with two more songs after this song. And I really, I'm very, very grateful that you're here tonight. Please try, if you uh, haven't already, to silence your um, phones. Please try to silence your phones. And um, if you can wait to go to the lobby, to the restroom, and tell me between pieces of music, that would be really great. Thank you so much for coming. And here we go.
name is India Ellis, and I am a seventh grader at Canton. Our next song is a mashup of the Hosky Banyan Prayer and One Day. These texts together speak about the need for peace, goodness, and freedom in our world. The song was chosen as a result of the attack that occurred last fall at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh. <coughs> the American composer Leonard Bernstein once said, this was our reply to violence, to make music intensely, more beautifully, and more, and <laughs> more devotedly than ever before. Enjoy our song, Happy Holidays.
Hello, um, I'm Caroline, I'm a senior. And the next two songs are from a musical theater class and we've been working during school to do this song. So it's gonna be two songs of book report from Charlie Brown and secondary characters from title of show. So I hope you enjoy it.
secondary characters are singing a song while the stars are snacking off stage. It was their idea to bring us along and now we're hijacking this page of the script. We're equipped to steer the ship till this trippy skin ends. And by the end of this song, we'll be best friends. I want to apologize for any weirdness. Me too. It can be really scary being the new kid. I bet. I bet you bet. I do. I bet. And I also want to say that after all we've been through, While the guys are being stored in the wings We've been left in charge of it all While the plot's unfolding like the Lord of the Rings Trail the day, it'll be you and me till the very end And like Frodo and Samwise
for eight days and commemorates the victory of the Maccabees against the Syrian king Antichius in 165 BC. Upon their victory, the Maccabees set out on an eight-day dedication of the temple. As the stories are told, only one jar of pure oil was found to light the flames of Hanukkah. Such a small amount normally would have provided light for one day. However, the flame the flame burned brightly for eight days and nights until more oil could be prepared. This was regarded as a miracle by the Jews, and today the festival of Hanukkah celebrates that miracle. Hi everyone, um, so I'm from the musical theater class. You saw two of our numbers earlier. Um, we have two more numbers for you guys. These next two are both from Spring Awakening. Um, the first one is called Don't Do Sadness, Blue Wind, and the second one is called Purple Summer. And both of them are kind of about um, coming to terms with yourself and being optimistic about the future um, and life in general and how there's sadness, but there's also light. Uh, so Kendall's gonna start it off and then I'll be back. Sweet to be a little butterfly, just. Wait. 
delight, the nightingale is ringing. Message of delight, the nightingale is ringing. Mary, you cheer, you hear the dreadful singing. Message of delight, of delight, the nightingale is ringing. Message of delight, of delight, the nightingale is ringing. Through the song of peace he brings to every nation, calling on to join, join their hearts in jubilation. No more need this war, no more hunger for the poor. Let the world unite, helping one another more. Mary, you cheer, you hear the joyful singing. Everybody. My name is Jackie Martino. Welcome. We hope you're enjoying the concert. Um, the song you just heard was Ryu Ryu Chiu, and it's a holiday song that talks about a nightingale in a very positive way. The nightingale bringing joy and happiness. So I want to talk about... What are you doing? Oh, okay. Um, this next song we're going to do is called Din Deer and Din, which I'm sure you've never heard of, so I want to give you a little bit of context. Um, I wanted the students to sing um, in another language, and originally Ria Ria Chiu was, we were going to sing it in Spanish, and then I decided, oh, well, let me just pick something else, and I found this song called Din Deer and Din, which is a classic madrigal. So if you look it up after we're done tonight and you hear it, you'll hear this classic madrigal called Din Deer and Din. But we're doing it in very differently. And for those of you that um, are musically inclined, um, the rhythm changes. Well, we go from 2 4 time to 5 8 time to 3 8 time. The students loved every second of it. Um, and so I declined to tell them what the song was about. Oh, okay. I declined to tell them what the song was about until about two days ago because we were really struggling with the rhythm and, and they sing in five part harmony at one time. And it, and it's hard. And so this song is also about a nightingale. Um, it's in Spanish. And the story is, is that this nightingale arrives and to this person's window, and the nightingale is very sad, and the nightingale goes off and delivers a sad message. And at the end, so that's like the whole beginning, oh, nightingale, we're sorry you're so sad. And then when you hear din, dir, and din over and over again, it's actually the sound that a nightingale makes, supposedly. Um, but here's the tagline towards the end of the song. It's fly away and tell my love I am already married. <laughs> so it's not a holiday song. I'm sorry, but you know, it's all about the culmination of an education. So, and clearly I have a nightingale theme between Ria Ria Chiu and Din Diri Din. So enjoy Din Diri Din.
Hi, I'm Sydney. I'm in 10th grade. Uh, the next song we're doing is called Still, Still, Still. It's an Austrian carol. Uh, I was asked to introduce this song because I always ask every class to sing it and she always says no. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> The next song we'll be singing is Seasons of Light, and it's about Hanukkah, and it's a really pretty a cappella piece, so I hope you enjoy it.
I always take notes on a program, always, the thing, to remember things to say, and then I lose the program. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the best I can. We have one more song for you, which Jordan will introduce in a minute. I just wanna um, give a couple of thank yous. Um, we, well, a couple of announcements first. We are, um, I'm super proud, we have three students this year um, that have qualified to audition for the All-State, Connecticut Choral All-State auditions, and they'll be participating in the Western Regional Music Festival. And what that involves is these students had to learn an Italian aria, and they had to sing it in front of some judges. They had to do some sight reading and scales. And um, it's very competitive here in Fairfield County. And we have three students that um, will be participating in the Western Regionals at Darien High School um, January 11th and 12th. Um, Eli Bush is our first male that is doing this for our King School. Wave your hand, Eli. Uh, Eli is a sophomore. Uh, Jacqueline Bamford is a junior. She will be Western Regional Festival this year. And for a second time, Miss Eliza Heaton, also a junior. Yeah, wave your hand. Congratulations. Um, so we have some middle school students that are joining us up here, and um, Mr. Miller, you know, did a great job with his choirs. But I, I just want to give a shout out to a couple of the upper school students who have worked with um, Mr. Miller's choirs, and what that means is that they come during a free period and they um, and they work with the middle school students, which I think is so great. I mean, that's what we hope for, right? Um, students learning from from other students. So I think I've got all the people and. Mr. Miller, feel free to shout out if I mess it up. But um, Avery Lenius, can you raise your hand there? Thank you, Avery. Yes, thank you to Avery. Thank you also to Eli, right? Thank you also to Sarah Cadlick. Yeah, for Sarah Cadlick. Um, thank you also to Eliza Heaton. Um, and as I think that might. Oh, and Alex Lim. Thank you, Alex. Did you help? Apparently, you helped. Okay. Um, I promise I'll stop talking soon. A couple more thank yous to give. Um, thank you to Mark Silence, who is my co-teacher for a musical theater class and for doing all things technical. Please give him a round of applause. Um, thank you to our accompanist, Stephanie Gregory. Um, and always, always um, thank you in, in a minute. Clap for Mr. Miller, but um, he also, he has been, He's just a great person to work with. Um, we have this class together, and um, he cares about music as much as I do, and um, I just respect him immensely as a teacher and a musician, and he does great work with the students, so thank you, Brian Miller. I, I will hand the mic over to uh, Jordan, who will announce the last song, but I just, um, this, since this will be the last that you hear from me, <laughs> for now. Um, thank you so much for your support of the program. Um, we had a wonderful concert last week, the instrumental concert. Garrett does wonderful work. For those of you that have lower school children, um, your kids are in wonderful hands with Cara Grimaldi. She does such great work in the lower school and um, I wish you all a wonderful, wonderful holiday. So here is for Jordan. Stile knocked. There's another person that we have to thank. Um, Dr. Martino, thank you for everything that you do for all of us. Um, you know, sometimes we need a strict talking to to, you know, get the rhythms and get the lyrics, but then it all comes together at the concert like this. And, you know, we're always a little stressed out the week before, but then it happens and I've never had a choir concert go horribly wrong. So that's. <laughs> hey, that's a good thing! That's a good thing! Okay, knock on wood, but like, I'm pretty sure this next number is going to be good. Um, anyway, so we wanted to thank you for everything. Um, this is both our last years in choir. We've been with you for a long time now, so this is very sentimental. Um, you're the... Okay, but it's the last winter one. Um, <laughs> do you have anything to add? No. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, Caroline, also thanks, Doc. Um, so now I'm going to announce Stille Nacht, um, which is uh, Silent Night in German. 
A couple years ago, we did a version of Silent Night with German and Spanish and English, and then this year we're just doing the German um, and English, and it's a really beautiful arrangement. Uh, learning a song in another language is always just really interesting to hear the different cultures, but then uh, we'll bring it together with the English, so you'll understand some of what we're singing. Uh, it's a really beautiful piece, and yeah, enjoy.